Welcome to Kenya's Real Estate Show, the show in which we discuss everything to do with Kenya's real estate market. Today we'll be looking at development controls. Welcome to the show. I'm Lucy Kamau. Remember we said the purpose of urban planning and zoning and development controls is to bring about order in our cities, yeah? Some of these cities that we we'll look at and admire in terms of their layout and uh, the connection between the various uses is because of the application of development controls. So now what happens is urban areas are mainly defined by commerce and industry. These are the two aspects that really pull people towards urban areas and the basis upon which now the urban areas are planned. So what I mean with this is eh, Nairobi has a central business district and now there are other business districts that are coming up. The Westlands, Karen is coming up as a, as a business district. Gong Road, that is a Kilimani area. Mombasa Road, another business district on its own. So now these business districts, they have commerce happening, hence commercial buildings, and some areas also have the industries. Now, this is what attracts all of us to urban areas. Basically, we come to towns to work either in offices, shops, or in industries. So then what happens is, around these either commercial centers or industrial centers is, is where there are the residences, where the people working here will be. So what happens is, the areas closer to CBD have higher densities of housing, and then as you move out towards the periphery of the city, the density reduces. Okay, density is basically the number of families living within a certain acreage, yeah? So then closer to the CBD, you have more of apartment blocks, and then as you go out towards the edge of the city, then you find more of your standalone houses on a bigger acreage, yeah? So this is what we basically mean when we talk about development controls because this is what determines what can be put where. And to support these areas being the commercial, industrial and residential areas, we need hospitals, we need schools, we need recreational centers like an Uhuru Park to chill on a Saturday afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon. We need transportation, yeah? Transportation is actually a very major user of land in cities because this is what has the road itself and the road reserves which actually help us go around. The first aspect of development control is plot size. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. 